I hope you're all staying safe and well and welcome to the Citizen Channel as we have a, another little at, uh, toys for us obviously with a city link or a connection it could be toys, could be games, could be puzzles, could be lots of different things or it could be card games, couldn't it? Which uh, we're going to have a look at today because we're going to have a look at uh, City's version or our version of um, Top Trumps yeah, it's, I missed out on this as a, as a kid it sort of came into the playgrounds as I left school and obviously I was a grown up then so I didn't want to get involved in things like this so I wish I had at the time but I didn't eh? there you go that's that's how it is so we're going to have a look at uh, Top Trumps and Manchester City today and one or two little uh, adaptations to, to play the game as well just a little bit more fun to it because I think the actual basic game's okay but Start if you know me and my games, I like to have a little tweak and a little mess about as well. So please join me today for our look at Manchester City and Top Trumps. Please, if you're new to the channel, push that subscribe button, push the bell notification. All these vlogs are coming out. I try and inform and entertain. And please, uh, if you do enjoy it, uh, also check out my uh, movie and TV stuff. Is yeah, my film and TV channel. Can have a look at that. That'd be great. Or you know, someone who might be interested, I do similar sort of stuff on there: information vlogs, uh, review vlogs, etc., etc. So if you can seek that out, and there's links on screen for Facebook and Twitter, of course. If your friend or follow me on there, I do check every couple of days and friend and follow everyone back. And I have a little website where I sell uh, movie posters from the 90s and 2000s, DVDs, some odd board games as well. So you can check that out, moviegamenostalgia.com. I'd be very grateful. All comments, very welcome, as always, about this, about anything you want to talk about. It doesn't matter as long as it's uh, football and city, it doesn't matter. And please, if you don't have time uh, to give us a comment, or if you have got time to give us a comment, and you can also sp spare that uh, split second just to leave us a, a thumbs up, that'd be fantastic. Right, yeah, top trumps. Here we go. We've got these. Uh, I've got three versions here. I've, you know, there's a couple more knocking about, but uh, I found these three versions that uh, go from 2015, 16, 17, and 17, 18. So not bad years. Uh, none of them are bad years. I think. I think I can't find the earliest actual city set uh, dedicated city set is about 2011, 12 or 12, 13, something like that. Let me know if it's any different. I say I've had a quick scan through. I can't see anything earlier than that as i said it's not something i was familiar with as a kid because obviously uh, it came out in 1978 so i'd left school then i was a working man of course uh, by 1978 and uh, it was popular with adults and children but i missed out on it i don't know why i have no idea i obviously had other things on my mind uh, um sort of girlfriends and marriage and work and various kids and stuff like that i suppose but there you go uh yeah i mean obviously it goes back to the old cards card games you usually like the cards you used to get as a kid you know for like in packs and uh, the football cards it is a version of that but we'll talk about that in a minute but uh, uh there's 11 different packs selling at 50p each when it was first uh first launched it's no there's no actual dedicated football club bonds obviously it was just generalization uh published by a, a company named Dubrec, if you remember Dubrec, they were also they were also responsible uh believe it or not for the Stylophone, if you remember the old Stylophone. And these were taken over by Waddington's, one of my favourite game companies at the time in 1982. And uh, they did continue manufacturing these packs uh, until the early 1990s. In 1992, uh, Winning Moves UK took over the, the uh, thing and actually relaunched the game. Uh, we go on Board Game Geek to have a look at the uh, ratings for this. Uh, a bit mean, I mean, there's just under a thousand ratings on there. And the game itself... Uh, which is very basic, isn't it? Let's be honest about it. It's only scoring 4.2 out of 10, but I think that's a little bit unfair because it's probably more than a game, this, isn't it? If you, if, you, if you do think back to the old football playing cards that you used to get with cigarettes and chewing gum as kids you used to collect them in packs, etc. before these panini stickers come out and all that sort of uh, guff, uh, football cards are brilliant. I mean, there's just such a, a memory. And these, are, these, in a way, are a modern version of that, although obviously you don't buy them in little sets and try and collect, which was part of the whole... Uh, all ethos behind that original thing. Uh, you obviously buy the pack and that's it. You can you know we can buy different packs etc. But uh, that was the old benefit, wasn't it, of, of actually buying of getting those football cards? Right, you spent a lot of money get collecting, but that was the old point. It's collecting, isn't it? So these are in the way uh, are a sort of um, that style of that, but obviously in a, in a different way and not quite as uh, addictive in my, in my opinion for actually doing it. Just turn it into a basic card game because obviously the. These things, I mean, I'll, I've got the 2017-18 one here now. 
I mean, they're, they are part of football history, aren't they? And obviously, not every club has them. Uh, certain clubs don't have them, etc. But, uh, you know, and, and it's players and moments in time. And by 2017-18, of course, we're putting classic ones in with older players as well. So that's fantastic. I mean, I, I like to get these. And obviously, they put the ladies in. The ladies are going in as well, which, again, just as fantastic. Although I'm not really interested in the ladies' side of football. It's it's nice to see that touch being added to it as, as it was modernised. But, yeah, I mean, I want, I want more of that. I want more of the older guys... Uh, I think I've got Bert Troutman have we in here as well, or it's certainly in one of them anyway, you've got things like Bert Troutman. You know, I want to see more of those older ones, certainly from a, a city point of view, but obviously from a modern selling point of view, it's probably not uh, what you have. But this, this is like just a little bit of history, there's not many de much details. I mean, obviously there's a, uh, somebody who's a true city legend, was voted player of the year by city fans in 1972 and 73 a captivating player is a vital part of the 68 blue side that won the league title so i mean yeah there's a bit of information but obviously you've got a lot more information on the on the old style cards didn't you but i think just to call this is a card game is, is a bit these is like the modern day thing i mean at school where you flick these against the wall did you do that as a, as a kid flick them against the wall whoever got the nearest collected the cards i mean <laughs> it's just a, you tended i tended to do it with me, me duplicates and stuff like that to be honest with you but uh, yeah so that's another game you could play that now you can play that at home with you with your kid against the wall in the living room it's just a bit of fun it's just another way to play with the cards isn't it but uh, they are thick and salt they're still quite thick and robust so you still get you still get plenty of wear out of them but as i said uh, and they're cheap enough to buy even brand new aren't they when they first come out so they are cheap enough to, to mess about and you get 30 cards of course so yeah that addition of the classic older players that does add to the collectability, but just to give it a four point two out of ten on Board Game Geek seems a bit mean to me. I think I think that's uh, not not great at all. I mean, we we know the basic game. We know that obviously you have to compare the the, the actual uh, stats on here, and obviously the winner gets to keep the cards. And by the end of the game, the one who ends up with all the cards, of course, uh, win wins the game. But uh, yeah, you know me, I like I like to have a little play about, and now I've had a, a quick description of the game. I'll just uh, I'll just pull the camera down a little bit as best I can, obviously with with this, and actually show you a couple of ideas for a a knockout version. So there's three or four of you. Uh, you can play a knockout version. Or even solo, you can play a solo game as well, which is only important. You've always, you know, you haven't got any busy messes mates about. You can always have a go on your own, can't you? But uh, yeah, so I'm just thinking. So if you just put that down slightly there for you. So say there was three of you playing, and you dealt. You all had six cards each, for instance. I'll, I'll turn them over so you can actually see the things rather than uh, hide them, which you would tend to do. So there's three of you playing. Obviously, if you dealt uh, six cards each. I mean, the simple way. It would be for the normal way to play it, obviously, where you, you sort of do one of the things, whether it's uh, uh, goals for City, etc, etc, and the other two have to compare, and if they lose, they lose. But in a knockout, I mean, you, you can do that. The first guy goes first, but then you can try and do it that way. Obviously, obviously you wouldn't see the other player's cards. But why not, why not introduce a little bit of a difference to it? Why not introduce a dice to it, for instance? Because if you look at you've got one, you've got the um, attack and defense can be one and two. So attacks one, defense two. Uh, obviously these height can be three, appearances can be four, goals for city can be five, and top trump ratings can be six. So it can be it pops up. So your first player, say this is player one, would go. If he rolls his dice, he gets a six. Obviously, it's uh, top trump rating, so he's 85. And obviously, this guy's going to win. He's got 91 and he's got 74. So even before you roll the dice. You sort of can look at your various ratings and, and sort of know what number you want to roll. So it adds a little bit to the game. It makes it a bit more interesting when you, you know, if you all all three of you place your cards on the, on the board of the, that you're playing. Uh, and then it makes it a bit more, because you know what numbers you've got to get. Obviously, if you get a number five, it, obviously, if you get a number five, goals for City. There's only this one here. There's only John Stone. So obviously, whoever's got John Stones will want, will want to roll the number five or number five to roll to win, win the card. So it adds a little bit more to the game, a bit more interest so obviously this guy wins that hand there so you play it as a knockout so you play it to whoever wins all the most so say they ended up with two each you just do a, do a knockout round you just say pick another card from the pile uh, each from the pile and just, just have a sort of a sudden death thing as well and obviously the next two then go on to play the final against each other stuff like that But you can, so you can, you, you can roll the dice before you can roll the dice after it doesn't matter when but it's just a a little, a little bit more fun to the game, and adds adds a bit more interest to me. I mean, it may be covered. I've looked on the internet. There's not many people coming up with ideas to to uh, mess around with the game.
but the solo one's an interesting one. I mean, so that's that's like a knockout for you if you've got more than two players. And the solo one's quite an interesting version as well, as a, in addition to the, to the actual game itself. If you obviously, if you if you take all the cards, again, if you've got if you've got a photographic memory, which I don't think many of us have, have we? I mean, you could probably do this uh, quite well, but. Uh, yeah, the solo one's quite interesting because if you look at the solo one, so say you just kept him in a pile like that, obviously you don't know. So we're going to start with Ryan Sterling. Right, so let's say, let's roll this dice again. Or you could do, just choose some of it yourself. So, I mean, you could choose goals for City 21, but obviously if you'd rolled a 5, 21. So what you've got to do is obviously with the next player that's going to be involved, obviously you've got, right, this is a solo version, Fabian Delph. So... Has he scored more than 21 goals for City than Ryan Stern at this 17-18 season? Probably not, so I'd say lower. So to actually get that correct, it has to be lower. So there you are, he scored four, so that's fantastic. So I'll turn that over, I've gone one, I've got one correct. It's like a memory and uh, higher and lower sort of thing. So you can roll that dice again and perhaps there you go, you roll a four. So one, two, three, you want appearances, 40, Fabian Delph. So... On your own, if you look down to the next one, Bernardo Silva. Now, don't forget, this is the 17-18 season. Bernardo made... When did Bernardo sign? This is where my memory's rubbish. I can't remember. So, had he made more than 40 appearances? I would say no, so I'll say lower. So, there you go. Appearances zero, yeah. <laughs> so, that was the season he signed. I had no idea on that one. So, there you go. You roll your dice together. And this is a, a, a good fun... See, how, what the thing is, how many how many you can get without getting it wrong. And then just, you just keep doing that. And eventually, if you ever get 30 right, you've achieved it. But that's going to take some doing, isn't it? Because it's potluck. You can shuffle them again and do it in another way. So, two. So, this is obviously defence. And he's only, only scoring 48 in defence, Bernardo Silva. So let's have a look who's in it. Oh, well, there we go. So we've got John Stone. So it's fair to say John Stones will have a higher defence rating. So I'll say yes, higher. So yeah, 86. There you go. So there you go. Three in a row. I've not failed. I think I've mostly got yesterday I was messing around with. This is about three in a row. So let's see if we can get a fourth eh, just to win. And then we'll call it a day at that. I don't want to go on forever, do we? But uh, number five. So number two, five. So goals for City. So John Stones has scored two. So let's hope we've got a, a striker next day who's played for City for a couple of years or more. So... There you go, Jill Scott. I have no idea. I have no idea. Is Jill Scott a striker? I just don't. I just don't know what Jill Scott is. I'm afraid uh, that shows my lack of knowledge. I'll certainly know a little bit more when I do this, obviously. But uh, I would say yes, she scored. Let's let's hope I can break my record and go for four. I'd say yes, she has scored more than uh, John Stones. There you go, eleven. Fantastic. So there you go. There's a game that I've four in a row and I'm not beaten yet. So. Yeah, I just I just thought that just just a little bit of fun with it, isn't it? I mean, you've got the basic game, but like I do a lot of board games, that, that's, that's good fun to play on your own, isn't it? Let's be honest about it and see how many you can get. So you have a go, you have a go with your set of cards. As I say, uh, obviously, uh, I don't know what the latest year is that's come out uh, for the, for these top trump things, but uh, yeah, I just thought it was it was a good. And I think uh, board game geeks being a bit mean there. I mean, but obviously, it doesn't allow for the fact you can have a play with it and change it and make it and move it up and. Uh, yeah, I say it gives us it gives me another sort of bit of fun with these top trumps. Say if you are Billy No Mates and you do want to play on your own, well that's a great little solo game, like higher and lower. See how many you can get, see how many you can get up to. Uh, I might I might continue that off camera and see how many I can get if I can break my own record and uh, you let me know what you get anyway. Yeah, so that's uh, top trumps today. Fantastic, absolutely brilliant. And I say you can mix it in with other teams if you wanted. You can mix it in with the international ones, can't you? There's different, different ones now. You can do it on the internet, can't you? I think uh, there's little games on apps apps for top trumps, stuff like that. But uh, the actual manual ones, this, I think it's a bit of fun. And uh, I'm sure there's a... You probably may have seen the quiz before this, but I'm, I'm thinking I've already, already got a little quiz planned for this uh, during the mid-season before the 21-22 season. So uh, join me for that anyway. But uh, you've probably watched that before you watch this because I, I don't know. I think this will come out later, to be honest with you. But uh, there you go. That's uh, just, a, just a bit of fun anyway on top trumps. And uh, yes, yeah, the uh, City, um, as bad as City stuff for us, I think that rate's up there quite highly. It's flipping good fun, if I say so myself. Anyway, thanks for watching. What are you going to do the rest of the day? Have a great one. Look after yourselves, look after your friends, look after your families. More importantly, let's all look after each other. Till you join me here again on the Citizen channel. Or perhaps have a look across at my film and TV channel, please. If you do, all I ever ask you to do is stay safe, Blues. Come on, City. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.